Is that the biggest bag of fiber fill ever? What? Yeah, should we get more stuff out of the car? Hey there, it's Valerie and we're back with another week. Um, this year is just flying by. It's kind of insane. I wonder if you're feeling it too. Um, yeah, there's just, I feel like there's so much to get done and I'm not getting any of it done. So that's a little disheartening, but I'm trying to make progress. So the big thing I've gotten done is I've been working on the alpaca. Um, and so I just finished up the head and taking pictures for the head um, like a few minutes ago. <laughs> and I've, you've seen it a million times already, but this is, this is what I'm working toward. Um, so I'm working on taking the pictures for the pattern and refining the pattern a little bit. Um, and it's, it's going well. I'm pretty happy with it. I do have... I pull out my project bin here. I do have three of the legs. Mm. <laughs> I've got three of the legs already made. Um, I haven't made the fourth one because I need to take pictures. So I have the three legs made and let's see. I have the tail in here somewhere. Here we go. And I have the tail and I just got started on the neck and body. So it's gonna sit like, like this, roughly. So yeah, I mean the, the neck body is the hardest part. So I have been hesitating on starting on that because sometimes I like to put off hard things because I procrastinate. Um, but it is, it is going pretty well. I do have to buy some like little pellets for the feet. Um, because in order for this to stand up, the feet have to be weighted. And I just did it the first time with rice, not thinking about the fact that maybe people would like need to throw their animal in the wash delicate cycle. I haven't actually washed any of my animals. I probably should just so I can say like do's and don'ts um, and see how successful it is, but I haven't yet. Um, yeah, so I need to, I need to buy some pellets so that you could potentially wash if needed. I know the yarn can be washed. It's just, I haven't actually tried washing one of my animals. I love them too much. But that first sheep I ever made, um, it could use a wash. My daughter plays with it a lot and we like sidewalk chalk at our house. And so it's gotten colorful where it's rubbed up against sidewalk chalk markings. So, so that's the alpaca coming along pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, I'm working I'm still working on getting the baby elephant pattern typed up. It's taking way longer than I want it to, um, as all patterns do. I, I don't know if I've actually said this before on any of my vlogs. Um, my day job is working as an architectural draftsman. So I work remotely, which means I work from home. Um, and I spend, I, I work full time. So I spend a lot of time sitting in front of the computer working with you know different um, softwares to to make buildings and so at the end of the day i want to crochet i don't want to sit and edit my patterns in another program to you know make them better so i am not the best at that because i'm just done with computers by the time the day is over so that's my excuse i am working on it it's coming along slowly um, so last week I did my little spiel on making a mess and I continue to make a mess. <laughs> um, and it's, 
it's coming along pretty well. I feel like, like I really want to tell you guys because I'm not that great at holding surprises. Uh, cause I just, I just want everyone to know all the good things, but, um, I'm still a little bit worried that I may have bitten off more than I can chew. And, and so if I, I, I just don't want to disappoint anyone. I would rather surprise and delight you guys. So, but what I will do is tell you that I am using the blush pink burnout blanket ball that I got shared in my last year on haul video um, to make it and it's it's coming along pretty well um oh I did get that massive thing of stuffing that you guys will have seen uh Rachel carry into the house she loves it like she comes into my little space here and she just like throws it on the ground and just like sloths over it because she loves that massive thing of fiber fill. Um, anyway, huh, any other news for this week? I've gotten a couple of people, a couple of pattern testers have responded with their finished whales. Got stuff on that. Uh, <laughs> so that's exciting. So that's coming along pretty well. Um, yeah, this month is just flying by and I'm like holding on to it by the reins. Oh yeah, um, one other thing. I did get to send off the flamingo. Um, I made it for my sister-in-law's brand new niece. Uh, so that was fun to send off. I mean, it's always a little bit sad to send things off, but, um, but I think it will be well loved. And I also sent off my big elephant. So that was, that was kind of a big deal for me. I've had a couple of times where I like, I almost gave it away. Um, and then like something just within me was like, not yet. <laughs> like you need, you need that elephant. Um, but I, I just had this feeling like it's it's time to send this off and you know who it needs to go to and it's it's gonna be good. Plus I've got yarn, I can make another one. Um, but I miss it a little bit. I go back and forth. Sometimes I think like I'm getting enough stuffed animals that I'm starting to look a little bit like a crazy, like a crazy cat lady, but crazy stuffed animal lady. Um, and then I, the, the other side of that is like, I just want to keep them all and hold them close and never give them to anyone. <laughs> so I am a little bit of a crazy yarn lady and that's okay. Guess I mean, it's authentic. It's who I am. So it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, I think that is it for me this week. Um, it's Friday. I'm trying to record these on Friday so that I can get them edited either you know Friday and then up on Saturday um try and not cram everything into Saturday so yeah so I think that's going to be it for me this week I'm hoping that tomorrow Saturday I'll have some time to to also get things done um I don't I don't know if I'm going to do twitch again I don't know I don't know where twitch and I sit as far as like when I'm on there and when I'm not, you know, I talked about doing it Saturday mornings and so far, like I've done it once and the rest of the times it's just not working out that great. So I don't know, maybe I'll put off Twitch until next year and I'll try figuring it out again then. So I guess that's a wrap on this week. I will uh, talk to you guys again soon and I guess show you what I have for next week. <laughs> Take care.